Hi everyone, myself Salvina. Today I came one topic with that is the musculoskeletal system. Make sure that you watch the entire video, then you can learn better. If you are new to the channel, then you just subscribe it, click the bell icon so you won't miss any single video. If you have any doubt about nursing, so please download the Nursing Guru app and chat with us. Welcome to Nursing Guru. Musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is coming the bone. Bone is a highly vascular living tissues, capture of the connective tissues and structural result of the tissues. Now I'm moving to like a connective tissues bone consists of the cell. Function of the bone. In this one, it will come the supporting framework of the body. Now it's coming to two. Protect the thoracic and the upper abdominal vesicle. The vertical column protect and the brain of the spinal cord from the injury. Now I'm moving to the classification of the bone. In this first will come the long bone, short bone, flat bone, sigmoid bone and irregular bone. Now I'm moving to the developing classification growth and oxification. In that first it will come the intermuscular ossification. What is the intramuscular ossification? It is the made from the primitive connective tissue. It's giving rays and it is the flat bone of the skull. So now I'm moving to which bone are there in this. The frontal bone will come, occipital bone will come, facial bone will come, mebular bone will come, clavicle bone will come, parental bone and the temporal bone. Now I'm moving to the endocranial ossification. In this ossification, ossificational central, it's coming. Now I'm moving to the primary ossification center. What is that? The primary ossification center is it is the development during the irregular life, usually around the eighth week stage of the development. So now I'm moving to the secondary ossification center is that there is a part of the secondary bone, it will come after birth. Now I am moving to the law of ossification, the classification based on the anatomical position will come. It will come to the axillary skeleton, appendicular skeleton. Now I am moving to the what is axillary skeleton. In axillary skeleton, the axillary skeleton foramen of the central axial that is the human body, this including of the bone, head of the vertical column. Now I'm moving to the center and skull base. The clavicle uppermost part of the skull and protect that the cerebral cortex. It is the composed of the foramen of the bone. Now I'm moving to the internal fossa. What is that? The anterior clavicle fossa foramen of the frontal bone and the scutal bone and the epithelial bone will come. The middle central fossa form the rest of the bone. Now I'm moving to the what is facial bone. This is including that following comes under two nocheal column, two notch bones, two maxillary bone, two parental bone, two ischemic bone, and two gauzistic bone. So I'm moving to the vertical column. In this, it is the medial part of the axial skeleton. It consists of the 33 bones called it the vertical and the intravertial disc. Now I'm moving to the thoracic disc. It is the thoracic cavage and the chief of the organ, resist and the upper part of the body. Now I'm moving to the upper limb. What is that? It, in, in, in this upper limb, the clavicle bone will come. The division of the sigmoid spatial long bone with the clavicle surface and long with the medial lateral bone obstruct with the position. 
Now I'm going to the scapula. What is that? It is the irregular shaped bone of the iliac and the upper thoracic part of the body. Now I'm moving to the humerus. It is the longest largest bone of the upper extremities and the defined that is the human brims proximal with the glovier vein and the humerus joint disposably it's coming to around the elbow joint. Now I'm moving to the radius. It is the one of the two longest bones that is the make of the human foramen and its other bringings of it's coming the three border three surface now i'm moving to the ulnar what is that the ulnar is the one of the two bones that is mill up the foramen and other bringings of the result of foramen elbow joint with the humerus and it also it's called the proximal and disposmal it is the largest two foramen border will come now I'm moving to the clavicle bone. What is the clavicle bone? This is are the two wrist contact with the hip bone and repair to the ulnar bones. It's come to the foramen base. In this, it will come the metacarpal one thumb, metacarpal two index finger, metacarpal three medial finger and metacarpal five, sorry, metacarpal four, little finger so now i'm moving to the pharynx what is that this is the bone of the finger that is the thigh has a proximal and the deproximal while it's rest of the proximal medial disposable pharynx now we're coming to the hip bone what is that the hip bone is and the irregular shape bilateral bone this bone is is located in pelvic region it's column up with the structure, structural and consists of the hip bone. The ischemic and ilium bone will come. Now I'm moving to the, the ischial and notch proximentary and it is the pubis and this pubis posterior of the bone. Now I'm moving to the acetabulum. What is that? The lateral shapes of the bone, one of the most prominent bone that is called as acetabulum it is the anterior fossa and the posterior fossa will come in acetabulum so in this the ilium and ischium bone will come it is a square shape like the bone and the most square common it's it's come into the hip bone it consists of the rest of part of ilium and ischium bone it's called acetabulum now I'm moving to the obtura foramen. What is that? In obtura foramen, it's located of the acetabulum of the upper part of the abstract man length diameter that is called the pubic bone and ischemic bone. Now I'm moving to what is ischemic bone? It is the posterior and inferior part of the hip bone. It's divided its two parts there is in body. I'm moving to the femur. What is that? The femur is the longest, heaviest and the strongest bone of the human body. And it has come to the proximal and primidal shape in needle to the structure of the hip bone. There are two prominent bones. One is paddle bone. I'm moving to the paddle bone. What is that? It is the longest sigmoid bone in the body and human body. It's located the anterior knee of the joint and it's come to the acetabulum point of both. I hope you all understand from this topic. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, just comment below. If you have any doubt about nursing, so please download the Nursing Guru app and chat with us. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. We will see in next video.